bug that's going on right now. One PlayStation bug. Let my ponies know. I guess there's a hold on. Let me read it right here. Um, <laughs> my homie Adam, shout out to Adam. Um, a malicious message is breaking PS4 consoles. Users are advised to turn off messaging. So I suggest everybody switch it to friends only, so you don't get no. I guess it's a numeric or has symbolic symbols. If you get that message, you click on it, it could break your PlayStation. So be careful. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm gonna send you the I'm gonna send you the uh article. Oh shit. So you're talking about somebody could send you a message and if you click on it and read it, it will break your PlayStation? Yep. Yo, these Hold goddamn on. Xbox are taking it too far. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, I put it I put it in the chat you made, so you can go ahead and check it out. Oh shit. Oh, you're talking about it on Twitter? Yeah. Oh shit, that's fucking crazy, dog. Yeah, be yep. careful, man. It's very important, man. Oh man, fuck that. I just switched my shit to friends only now, so. Yeah. Or if you want, just check your messages on your phone instead of your PlayStation. That's crazy. Oh snap, that's crazy. I gotta see if that shit a hoax or not. Yeah. But I've had my really? PlayStation on today. I've been playing Mass Effect 2. Mm-hmm. So. Well, it says it may not only crash when you open it, but when you receive it. Oh, <laughs> shit. I didn't read that part. God. Yeah, it says it says just even getting it. So it says send your message, set your thing to private only. Yo, that's crazy. So, hey. Is that a everybody? message? From, is that a message from Sony? No, no, no. Oh, no. I just see it from... From what um all oh, they sent it, so it's, oh, it's not God. official. If the source is not from Sony, then I'm. I'm gonna... st- I mean, I've had a air on the side of caution, though. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take much just to put your messages on private. Yeah. Until yeah. until until it clears up. Yeah. And stuff like that. But anyway, to the people, what's going on, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers? Welcome to the special family reunion of the Sixty Frames No Lag Podcast. We got the, of course, the four horsemen are here because we got to preach some truth in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Gamers are getting dumber by the minute. <laughs> getting out of hand. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go down the line. We're going to start out with all day, Mr. Who Cares? <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit. What's up, people? What's, What's up, going Chad? on, man? What's up, Port Rock? Man? Long, time, it, man. long time no speak, man. Nah, I know. It's been a minute, man. You out there eating them sausages, Paul? I'm, I'm, I'm the, whoa, whoa, pause, pause. Yeah, I said, oh, pause, pause. I'm ahead of you. I'm ahead of you. Nah, no, no, but on the real, man. He, he, he he some Polish some sausage. sausage. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. The bratwurst. The bratwurst. The bratwurst. Wait, let me ask you this question. Do they have chicken in Germany? Yeah, they have chicken in Germany. Why? Yeah, why wouldn't they? Because I remember, I remember watching Snoop. Right, this is a little document. He only had that family show, or whatever, yeah. and he took him like twenty four hours to find chicken in Germany. Why would hey. he? Where the fuck he was at? Nah, this chicken I don't everywhere. Know. He sent like his little workers, and I was like, damn, they ain't got no chicken in Germany. No, they got oh, chicken. Yeah, they got everything. What's crazy here is this. I'll say this, huh. especially their meats out here is fresh because they actually there's no they don't have. From what I was told, anyway, they don't have like mass farm production. You okay. know what I'm saying? They don't have it as an industry. It's still very privatized. It's still like the individual mom, mom and pop, pop farms. Oh, okay. So the stores and restaurants, they actually have deals with local farms directly. So it's not oh, like yeah. a farm has a deal with a major meatpacking plant and then the meatpacking plant. No, everything's directly from the farms. So you got to go some to places, Mr. Jones to get your Cow. Yeah, for stuff like on some places they get their stuff from the hunters mm, and that's shit like that. Cool, like, for like this, so it's like super fresh and stuff. So yeah, that's cool. you know. But I think out like, here they take more expensive though. Yeah, all oh, euro. It's because of the euro. Everything's okay. more expensive out here. The euro yeah. is a beast out here. But yeah, food is a bit more expensive out here and stuff. And a lot of products is more fresher. They they have stricter rules on preservatives. So like 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 a half a gallon of milk, I can't uh-huh. buy like. I have to buy um base, like you know, we have the commissary and shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. If I buy regular milk, it comes from the local economy, right? Mm-hmm. So what that means is is based off the rules right here in Germany or Europe or whatever, right? If I buy a half gallon of milk, I don't drink milk like that anymore. You know, maybe I have a bowl of right. cereal or stuff like that, whatever. 
So like in three days, that thing's gonna spoil. Like yeah. it spoils uh, like in three, four. It spoils fast. Like you can't right. have milk in the fridge for a long time because there's not that much preservative. Yeah. So now right. I'm buying shit like lactate milk because that's because that comes from the state and that still has all the preservatives and all that bullshit to keep it. So the milk, food. yeah. So the milk lasts like two weeks. But if I right. buy local milk. Yo, that you got four. And once you open it, you got like three. That shit's like fucking the ring. Seven yeah. days. <laughs> you want to pull that shit? Yeah. That shit's dying, though. I need to pull it you know, And I can't get all these cereal yo, coffee. Yo, yeah. I like, yo, well, once you crack that thing open, you better be drinking chocolate milk like a motherfucker because that shit's going to spoil. <laughs> so, you know, so their foods is very more fresh or whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah. And stuff like that. And, you know, but anyway, man, what you been up to, brother? Nothing, man. Just playing games, bro. We're playing this fucking black ops. Remember, man, we gotta run can't something. Say, you can't say Black Ops without saying PS4. Get That's that out it. There. That's it. But uh, no, literally, it's in the title. But um, I've been enjoying that. Playing a little Dragon Quest. Playing a little Grind to See. Playing a little Odyssey. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, Grind to See. I saw. I Grind saw that thing between you and Dealer. Oh yeah, that was, uh, we we had a conversation. About, oh, there you okay, go. Oh, my God. we had a conversation about that on Scumcast. Dealer hopped on. They sent him the link. You know, we got that hashed out real quick. But mm -hmm. uh. Like yeah. grind, the, the word grind is not necessarily bad. If you've been gaming no. since the Nintendo, <laughs> you've been grinding in games. Every game, Final Fantasy, you grinding in that game, right? Bottom you line, you have to. They, they yeah. don't make they don't make these games where you could play it straightforward and you're gonna be level ninety. It's not possible. Right. Yeah. Now, grind. if you in, you if you're enjoying your grind, it's right? fun, but it's still That's a grind. grind. It's still a grind. But yeah. if you enjoy the grind, you enjoy that game pay the loop, then you're yeah. fine. Now, the thing to people adding grind to Odyssey. The level gate. The previous games was just pretty much straightforward. You play it, you do the missions, you do the side missions, and then boom, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Odyssey, from what I'm hearing, you just can't simply do that. You have to do some extra stuff. Yeah, you got to do a lot of side missions because yeah. the level gate is is very high. Like the yeah. gap between the leveling, yeah, it can put you. You can hit a wall. Basically. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Shout out to Lincoln Clay. Thank you so much for five dollars super chat. He says, "Sup, Porter Which Rock, Craig, J Dub, and all day." I want a rematch, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> oh, what, He's not even trying to get in touch with you. No, no, no. MLB the show. We had a great yeah, man. We haven't played came down yet. to the wire. What? Yeah, we haven't even played yet. MLB. Let's go. Oh, because you scared, dog. Uh, scared? How? <laughs> 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 if you scared, say you scared. Yo, but we had a... Yo, it, it, it came down to the fucking last out in the bottom That's of the... That's how me and J-Dub do. Yeah, every time we play, man, our games you know, come down to... I need to play J-Dub so I could just whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you hey, I'm a world you, champ, baby. You and your one and done team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we finna, we finna be two and done. No, you finna to be the knack of baseball. <laughs> you get, <clears throat> you uh, get your little sequel, and that's it. It's over. <laughs> Yo, but shout out to Lincoln Clay. Yeah, we definitely gotta run some baseball. Yeah. Damn, <clears throat> let me get a drink. Let me get a drink. Anyway, so the man's good to have you back. So yeah. next up on the list, my man Craig Harris. What's going on, brother? How you been? It's been a while. Yeah, man. Appreciate it to all our friends in Germany. There's a schnauzer in my wiener schnitzel. Oh, and uh, I thank you for the uh, pause, 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 what? <laughs> pause for the cause. <laughs> oh, I just said there's a dog in my hot dog. Okay, there's a dog <laughs> in his hot dog. Uh huh, sure. That's what it means. <laughs> but uh, shout out to everybody here. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Hit the like button. Glad to be back. Uh, you got the four horsemen. Are we going to call us the four ponies? Or call us whatever you need to call us. But don't call me after midnight because I will be. Play Mass Effect. So uh, Ooh, we're you're still play playing Mass Effect? I got it all. If it, people pop on to the Xbox, because I'm the Messiah of Xbox, I got <laughs> Mass Effect. <laughs> you know, that's what I pause to jump on here with you, gentlemen. So oh, shit, yeah, shit. just don't call me after me. A friend of mine had dropped my my source and dropped me some stuff about the PS5. Lou Waffle, give a shout out to Lou Waffle. That man called me at three o'clock in the morning. Like he'll call me at three o'clock in the morning and say, "Well, it's about it's about eight o'clock over here, where he is." So. Yeah. <laughs> man, all right, awesome, man. <clears throat> and then of course we got you know President Trump himself, yes. <laughs> Mister Mister Fake News, Mister the most toxic <laughs> gamer on Twitter. 
<laughs> we got my man J Dub. You know what I'm saying? He's pretty much <laughs> buying. He's buying up all the talent for Coney. <laughs> he's, 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 he's taking the Golden State playbook and buying up everybody to make a supreme <laughs> team. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but but, but post up, he, he kind of flaky. Yeah, uh, post up. Hey, I'm hey, I'm I'm gonna have to tap that contract in. Uh, I don't know, man. The, the ship, young, the, I'm, the I'm young gonna, lad, I'm gonna a connect. The, the young, the young lad is still hyping devs. Like, bro, you got games here. <laughs> exactly. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so how you been, brother? How's everything? Been great, man. Can't complain. All these. Big games out, you know, it's the time of the year. Y'all know what time it is, man. If you're not gaming on something, I don't, then you're just not a gamer. I mean, there's new games on the Switch. Uh, PSVR got some games, Astro Bots, Firewall. I mean, all that stuff is, is uh, gravy. We got, you know, it's Call of Duty time. It's uh, Battlefield time. Y'all, you know, Red Dead coming out in a couple of weeks. Spider-Man I mean, DLC. Yeah, yeah. Spider-Man. Spider I'll, I'll be honest. I am hyped for that deal. I've never been hyped for a DLC as much as this ever. Oh, definitely. I, I am fucking hyped. I just want another reason to jump into Spider-Man. Some days I just jump in just to swing through the city. I'm like, that shit yeah. is so fun. Yeah. Fuck that game. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah. A lot of great news, man, coming out of boat camps. Um, a lot of play, you know, big PlayStation news out and stuff like that. PSVR talk. So it's just a great time to be a gamer, man. Man, excellent, man. Thank you. Thank you for that promo. Uh, so we're gonna get to it, right? So, so why are we here, right? So I got I let me let me set the tone here, right? Let me set the tone here. Ah, uh, there's a lot of nonsense going on right now over the last two weeks, ever since X Cloud was announced <laughs> in the streaming service, right? Yeah. You know, and you know, for a minute, you know, I saw, I'll be honest, I'm kind of interested in X Cloud because I'm like, I'll be honest, I'm very disappointed in my Xbox One. There's no secret behind it. I never, I swear to God, and I listen, I own TurboGrafx 16, I own the Jaguar, I own every, pretty much every Sega system, every Sega home console, right? I never, never, as as bad as some of these consoles were, they were never simply dwindled down to like a Madden box, mm -hmm. and that's why my Xbox One is now. If it wasn't for Madden, to which I will say this day was the biggest mistake buying it on that platform, I should have just stuck to PlayStation. The console will not be getting used at all, right? It's really a Madden box, right? So when this X Cloud announcement came out, I'm thinking, okay. Because my next idea was I'm not buying a dedicated Xbox hardware. I'm never making that mistake again. Because Microsoft to me is just a very mediocre publisher, right? So yeah. I think, you know what? At first, my idea was, you know, I'll get a PC. Not no Super 4K, AKBs. You know, just something moderate. I could play 1080p, 1440p, right? 60 frames. I could still play Microsoft games. Maybe dabble in some PC exclusives that don't come to console. And then I'll use it for my channel. Right, yeah. so that's that's my plan. At least, at least, even if Microsoft creates derelict, derelict games, you know, bullshit games, at least I could rely on other stuff, you know, like the PC exclusives. Maybe there's a few I might like, or at the very least, if all hell goes, you know, everything goes to hell, I at least got a PC for my channel. All right, so that was my plan. But then when I saw X Cloud, I'm thinking, you know what? If I could have, if I could use my Fire TV, right. And download an app, or if I buy a streaming stick, right? And download an app, maybe 50 bucks, whatever. I wouldn't mind streaming so much because one, it won't be my primary platform. I will only be streaming whatever game I choose to play that Microsoft makes, which is probably not a lot. But since I didn't invest so much in a in uh X, you know, Xbox hardware, you know, I didn't buy a four or five hundred dollar hardware. I, I think I'll be able to deal with streaming with Xbox, you know, xCloud, because my main platform will be PlayStation, so I'll still have my offline gaming. If the internet goes down, I'll still have my PlayStation 5, and most of the games I'll be playing on PlayStation 5 anyway. So I'm thinking, you know what? This is a good, cheap option to do it, right? So yep. I was cool with that. I want to ask y'all guys first, before I go into my soul box, how did we go from xCloud just being something that we kind of knew was going to happen anyway, right? Because Phil Spencer mm -hmm. mentioned this, that we're microsourcing, <laughs> to being something that 
is just simply for them. It's just simply a method for them to get their games on tablets and phones to now some people saying this is the wave of the future. Consoles <laughs> is going to be the blockbuster of gaming. I literally have people tell me that, that that's that consoles are now going to be the blockbuster. I'm going okay. to tell you, I'm going to tell you why. What the fuck happened? All right. <laughs> I just want to know how Listen. how the consoles like here's what I, let me let me add out to one thing. Shout out to Doc, right? You know, he said this a couple of days ago. He says, and I'm gonna paraphrase because I can't, but he says something to the effect that that Microsoft found a way for us not to be now use this word. He said this word specifically stuck. Of consoles at home, so I replied, "Is that how you feel? You feel stuck with your console?" So that so somebody help me out with that. How did we get to this point where consoles are archaic relics, where you're stuck gaming at home? This is what it is, right? And and this is just what it is. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Hmm. When they're saying stuck, they mean Xbox being stuck in last place. <laughs> That's basically what that is. And so they feel like since Microsoft is in the top tier of cloud development and, and data centers and stuff like that, this is something that Microsoft can make number one and be the king of since they're not the king at consoles or, or games. So they're trying to leverage this to make Microsoft become in first place. So this is why the industry's changing. Sony's going to uh they can't compete. They're they're gonna they're behind the times already. I mean I've we've heard it Puerto Rock we've heard it all within the last couple of days. And this is the come this is all I can think of from gathering what these guys are saying. It's not even about the games, right? It's about Microsoft is is the best at you know Azure Cloud and Azure servers. So by naturally, they're going to be the number one at this stuff. All right, Craig, give me your input. They're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the voice has spoken. <laughs> if Google look, if Google wants to take Microsoft out, they're going to take them out. They don't want to. Because in order to grow the business, they need each other. Everybody needs each other to grow this part of the business. Uh, one of the funniest things I've heard was, is it is it good for just Microsoft or is it good for gamers? I heard that on a podcast. I can't believe the person said that. But look, here's Microsoft's future. Now, I wrote down some quotes directly from the mouth of the executives of Microsoft. And here's my two favorite co quotes. It says, a great tech, talking about the cloud, which we're just talking about, giving you access to the games you want to play on the device you want to play on. Okay, compute in the cloud and stream to any device I'm on, allowing me to play with anybody. That's power. My favorite one is Phil Spencer, who's, who just told everybody what Xbox was going to do. The idea that it's media that is locked behind one device, that's totally absent to me. So let me tell you, because I told everybody last year there was going to be a streaming device. I told the bot father himself. He rolled his eyes. Now, here we are. There's going to be an app, the Xbox, because Xbox is a service under the Microsoft umbrella. This, that's what it is. Okay, it's no longer all this bull crap these cats have been talking about. Remember, these are the same simps that said Switch was going to fail because it didn't have third-party support. Okay, they said that. They said X was going to give it to me. I'm still waiting. When's it going to give it to me? I mean, I got, you know, what, what's, what is this thing, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, Microsoft is going to walk in to uh, Sony headquarters and say, we got an app we want to put on your device so you can stream games. And Sony is going to say, well, we're not going to let you stream that on the PS5 because that's our newest stuff. But you can stream that onto the PS4. But that's their future. And they're going to offer it to Nintendo, too. Because it keeps them, if you want to, if you want Netflix, if you want to be the Netflix of gaming, again, that's what Bill Spencer has said. You want that. Well, the last time I looked, Netflix is on every television. It's not, it's on Vizio, it's on Insignia, it's on Samsung, it's on Sony. You don't, you can have one account and have, have your account on multiple devices, just like Microsoft does. 
And it's just, that's their future. It's over with. I mean, so of course I agree with J-Dub in the sense that it's something that they're good at, the Azure cloud. And so now it's going to be the leader. It's going to be the, yeah, it's not going to lead shit. Because if Google wants to, they can just take them out tomorrow. Take them out tomorrow if they want to. They're already wood shedding them. They're already wood shedding them with search. You know, they're wood shedding them on other devices. You know, Google makes tablets just like Microsoft. Microsoft has a search engine called Bing, which you never heard of because everybody uses Google. <laughs> so, uh, so it's, there, it's, it's really hard on them. It, they're having a tough time. Reporter right, they've had a tough 150 hours. So you've seen some <laughs> on Twitter. J Dub, yeah, J Dub, man, love you, love my man, fifty grand. I don't know how he gets on those podcasts. It doesn't feel like snapping these people's necks. It's like, man, they say some of the stupidest stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know it's entertainment. I know it's entertainment. Don't get me wrong. I, I get it. it. You know, I know it's entertainment. But damn, how come it's got to be black people that are this dumb? You know. Okay, <laughs> <he's quiet. laughs> right. That's all. Hey, I mean. hey, all day, your input, man. All right, man. Uh, we're talking about the the voodoo box, right? Yeah, fucking yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. the thumb, you know, X thumb drive. But you know, we all like. I remember sitting back in party chat on 360 back in the day, and just kind of like you know, just shooting shit with the homies or whatever, and just thinking about like, damn, what's game going to be like 20 years from now? We we all said it would be an app that you would click on PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo, and just play your games like that, right? Yeah. And now it's coming to fruition, but. Me, you, the panel, a lot of people in the chat, this streaming stuff doesn't apply to us just because we rather game natively. Most of us, right? I'm pretty sure we want the best experience possible on our consoles, right? So, I don't know if me being jaded or me gaming for 20 plus years has me feeling like everything Microsoft does, they're innovating in their own way. But for me as a hardcore gamer, quote unquote, um... I feel like the more they try new stuff, the more they're unrecognizable. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I bought a console to plug it into my TV to play. If you want to offer it to other people that can't afford consoles, because that's kind of what their market is, right? People that don't have access to consoles, that's fine. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Eventually, if anything, maybe as they're streaming, they realize this is not what they want to do. Maybe this might propel them to buy a console, right? It could be a market employee. So that's, that's when we slap on the render center service, the random spoons. That's when we slap that on. So we got a console for you, $30 a month, right? But it's just not how I want a game, right? And it seems like they just want to they want to dub somewhere. They want to win somewhere. Yep. Um, Microsoft is, they just remind me of just a, a fucking, a walking cornball. Like just a walking Corn, like every if corn with legs, that's what they are, <laughs> you know. Inside Xbox, E3, I mean, e everything they do is just so cringeworthy, bro. Like, it's hard to watch them, it's hard to stomach this. What happened to Bing, Zoom, um, Windows? Like, everything they do is they just t they're always behind the curve. And then Google announced their streaming service, all of a sudden, Microsoft wants to get theirs going, right. Yep. And it's like they're always treading behind, even though they feel like they're in, in, in the lead, but they're not. This is not something I'm going to – I don't care about stream game, um, streaming games at all. Um, I tried it one time with On Live back in the day. Mm -hmm. I remember my I Sony, Yeah, On Live, right? And I I noticed – I played Street Fighter. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. – I'm not a believer. So, and everything Microsoft has done outside of gaming um, has not really taken off, you know? Yep. Their phones and their peripherals, the connect, everything they do has a stink. It's a smell. It's like <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. You smell it, right? And it's like, so all of a sudden through their, their, their track record, now all of a sudden the, their streaming device is the holy grail? Obviously, PlayStation now didn't take off, right? Obviously, on live didn't take off, right? Mm -hmm. Like all the streaming stuff that's already here has not taken off. So I don't generally think the latency is going to help bring attract gamers to this. I don't. It's not attracting me, of course, but I don't see it being. It might be a, the best option out of the bunch if Google doesn't, you know, surpass them. But it's something that I just don't really care about, and I feel like. 
all these announcements you could have made, why don't you post that epic Metroid? Take examples from a uh, Nintendo. Post that a JPEG or something you're working on. That yep. will bring people to your streaming service. Why don't you say what you're working on, get people excited for a fucking game? The <laughs> original reason why you got into this market for Xbox, right? Yeah. It seems like you're just going out your way to do everything else except games. Yeah, and that I mean, bothers me. That I can't trust I, you, motherfucker. I totally agree. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you with what you said, especially on the part where for one, Microsoft hadn't really did anything this gen- this generation to instill confidence in them. But then right. for two, you got to realize this. If they think, if their mindset is, well, the reason our console isn't selling is because it's too expensive, so we're going to offer a cheaper streaming alternative, then they've already lost. Because that right. is not the reason people are not buying your shit. People are not buying your shit for, for, for several reasons. Right. One, they don't tr- you lost the confidence in 2013 mm-hmm. of, of most of them, right? Mm-hmm. For two, the inside Xbox, uh, the, the cringeworthy social media stuff, and Xbox just has a bad stigma about it. It's it's the laughing clock this generation. And so people people want to be on a winning team, they don't want to be on a losing side, and that's consumer, right? This is why people continuously stand outside of the line uh, when a new iPhone come out or a new I- iPad or a new whatever Apple device because Apple is that cool company. And Microsoft is the anti-cool. Um, They've always I, been. I, I think if they can fo- focus all their energy on games, they would have an opportunity to be competitive. But they're doing the opposite. They're focusing all their money and everything else, all their attention on stuff that technically has nothing to do with games. It's, something, it's another way they can leverage their cloud service and stuff that they use um, for everything else for businesses. So I don't know. I, I just again, if if you sell me a, this streaming device and you're offering me the same games that I don't want on my Xbox, then what really, who is your market? And I keep asking people this: who is who's the market? Don't tell me it's it's the guy that can't afford console. Because guess what? If that guy's having a hard time spending 160, 170 bucks on the Xbox One S, then he's going to have a hard time shelling out, you know, consistent money every month for Game Pass, for Live, for EA Access, for, you know, and then on top of this, $150 or $100 for a streaming device. That just doesn't make any sense. Here, 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 I want to make a point. I want to make a point. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, brother. All day? No, what'd you say? I'm here. Okay, okay. So I want to I'm gonna bring up a couple of points to this. All right. So number one, good question. Who is this streaming stick for, right? Everybody keeps saying it's not for us, it's not for us. I beg to differ. It's for me. Because he says it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're included with us. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Who other than us knows about this? We're the only ones that know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not for us. Then, then because the because it's either us who knows about it or them who don't know about it. Yep. And it it's for us. We're the only ones that know. Yep. And yep. It, it, listen, if people don't want Xbox, it isn't because they can't play Halo on a bus. That's <laughs> not it. Exactly. Some people think that that the problem wasn't it. Like I even mentioned on Twitter. You know, oh, so the issue wasn't lack of compelling games or mediocre first party. The issue was they couldn't take these mediocre games and play it in the train station. Oh, <laughs> no, we got it. <laughs> so Recore isn't a bad game. It's only a bad game when you're forced to play it at home. But you put it on a <laughs> top 10 all time. That's a good it, platformer. It, so these, these guys act like it's like buying home property. Location, location, location. They act like gaming is about location. Like, and here's my thing: how how much time do you guys spend on a bus? Yeah. Like, like most of my gaming time is at home. Even if I was out walking out the door, a good portion of it is me in a car driving, which I can't play a game. Right. right. If I am outside, most likely I'm doing something, either shopping, going to the store, going to the movies. Something, something's making me go outside. My whole purpose of going outside is not to play Call of Duty. I do that at home. 
So if I'm outside, you know, I understand there's people who go to work. Oh, you know, I travel 40 minutes to work, coming and going. So that's a good time to play. Okay, I get that. Or I go to a doctor's appointment. All right, unless you got cancer and you're going to a doctor's appointment every day. All right, I get that. I get the few little occasions where, you know, having a gaming device is optimal. I get that. Okay. Maybe a long trip to Florida driving. All right. Got it. Okay. But that is in no way a mainstream function. The mainstream function is what you do in your house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All, of, all, of, all of a sudden, everybody wants to. Tra everybody travels all the time. Apparently, nobody's at home playing games now. <laughs> yeah, but let me all this. Can't nobody. Me. Nobody's home playing games now. Every, everybody's outside Microsoft. now. Can we take Microsoft at their, not to interrupt you, Port Rock, I'm sorry, but can we just start taking Microsoft at their word? They said they've solved the latency issue. So let's just take them at their but word. Even then, even then, let's be honest. Uh -huh. The people who have issues with the latency is us. Yep, it's us. Well, it's I, not them. No. It's us. Yeah, we yeah. are the ones. So the people, so this device is not for us, but yet we're the ones who are complaining about latency. Well, I don't disagree, but if the latency problem is proven to be, well, everybody waits six months once the device hits, and let's just say the latency is minimum to none. The people that it, you know, people are reporting back, whether it be major websites or gamers who actually have it, say now there's very little to no latency. So if there's no, and it starts to move consoles or move, you know, move things, then where do we go from here? Because it just seems like when Microsoft says they're going to do something. It's like, okay, here's what they're going to do, or here's what they're going to attempt to do. You always have these suckers online. I don't know what else to call them. Yeah, they keep but but, the, state. There's but more the thing is, it's that. the same people buying the same product. They're not growing Microsoft the fan base. Yeah. Well, that's it's, true. I agree with you. That. Know, take take like Tin Dog or Xbox. They bought like 10 consoles. Yeah. Sure. But they're not buying 10 games. Yeah. yeah. They're not I moving. Agree. You could, you know, you could buy the original Xbox One, the Xbox One S, the Xbox One X, and now you buy the X Cloud. You're the same gamer. Like nothing, nothing changed. I you know agree. What I'm Here's Matt Pescatella. He made a tweet four days ago. He says this: "Not sure where all this confidence in consumer adoption of streaming as a primary way of engaging with gaming content is coming from. Many services have already come to market and failed, or have seen moderate adoption based." On more are based more on consumer preference than tech. Yeah. Video, music, work well, streaming first mediums, but the challenges of gaming will always make streaming a less satisfactory experience unless our deal internet condition exists, which just don't in the US. Streaming is a great secondary way of experiencing content as a bonus. Right? Here's my thing. Well, first, Overdon, thank you for the super chat, Fire Euro. I appreciate it. He says, these Xbox went from Xbox is where my friends is at to the beast is coming to 4K gaming. And lastly, now I can play <laughs> my games on the go. Like, there's a, there's a new motive. In 1080p. It's a, it's a new motive. Like, here's the thing. Number one, I just talked about who is this for. People say it's not for us. But I'm thinking we're the only ones that even know about this thing. So we're the only ones that actually would get it. The casuals... That didn't buy Xbox or even PlayStation, their reason for not getting these consoles isn't because they can't take it on the go. They're just not interested in these platforms. You know what I'm saying? They're just not. And that's okay. Hey, you're, not gonna okay. Get two billion, you're not really gonna get two billion gamers interested in Xbox. You could barely get, you could barely get 50 million. You're not gonna okay. get two billion. That's never gonna happen. It isn't because oh, I can't play Xbox on my phone, that's why I don't get Xbox. That that ain't it. That's that was never an issue, right? Wait, Notice. Wait. Go ahead. Think about this. These motherfuckers can't even market their own games right. How the <laughs> fuck are you gonna market streaming? Like, I would have more faith in them getting this into two billion people's homes, and then you know their 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 goal is to add this with Game Pass, so everybody's playing Xbox games. If you can't even market Crackdown Three, Forza, and all these other games, right? The fuck you gonna do streaming? What are you gonna do? You know what I mean? I would have more faith they can if they can market right. Hell, yep. and Greenberg doesn't even know the release date of fucking crackdown when the official Xbox Twitter said February twenty second. And I was told that don't listen to official Xbox Twitter. I'm like, oh great. Oh god. So now, so now, official Xbox Twitter is fake news. No. Okay. <laughs> like you know, you can't make this shit up, bro. 
Well, we got fake news. You got fake 4K. You got fake HDR. Now, I mean, here's my here's my thing. This goes to the next topic. Well, it's the same conversation. How now Sony all of a sudden is behind the power curve? It's like I, like I'm a, I'm gonna show y'all an image. This is straight from Sony. So of course I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna share my screen right now. I'm I'm gonna show y'all something. Uh. I'm gonna show you something. This is this is what perplexes me. I just don't understand what the fuck is going on. It seems like ever since we stopped this podcast, the nutcases got let loose. <laughs> it was like, like, like holy shit. shit. The Sinister Six broke out of the raft, huh? <laughs> like, what the fuck happened, bro? Like, nobody's putting nobody in check. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. This is straight from Sony, this chart right here. Yeah. Right? Everybody can see it now. Uh-uh. Look at PlayStation yep. right here, right? PlayStation 4. Look at the graph. PlayStation 4, in terms of console, is doing the best it's ever done in the history of the company. It's blowing out PlayStation 2 like if PlayStation 2 was a piece of shit. Facts. Look at the chart. This is Sony's chart. They made this shit up. Yep. All right? You saw how bad PlayStation 3 was. That even when it was trending up, it was still in a negative. You saw, you could look at PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, you know, pretty hard bars. And back then, those were phenomenal numbers. PlayStation 4 literally embarrasses the shit out of any console. So you, technically, you could say PlayStation 4 is the most successful console of oh. consoles of all time. Yep. yep. Right? Yep. Somehow, Sony needs to change up their strategy because they're in trouble. Well, I Yo, know why. gaming I is the. Let me tell you something. Gaming is the only, whatever topic you want to call it, where they give props to the to the shitty fucking whatever more than the number one. Like any other sport, number one gets the most props. Not in gaming, Sony gets no props. They are clearly created the most successful console of all time, and that doesn't mean anything. Yep. No, Sony has to fix it because they're in trouble. How the fuck is this company in trouble as a gaming division when they're the best at it? Yep. I don't understand. That's like saying Golden State Warriors got to change up the <laughs> formula because they're in trouble, dog. They got to do something because they, 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 they're not making it this year. I'm like, well, what the fuck happened? You know, since when is the traditional model of console gaming, which has been the most consistent, and and this gen Sony's been doing the best at it. Where is people getting this thing from? They need to switch up the that they're the ones that have to switch up the formula and keep up. Simply because of Google and Microsoft announcements, they haven't proven anything yet. Yep. Well, but J Dub is right, and the word the word is relevancy. And, and I'm glad you brought up Golden State, Rock, because that's a perfect analogy that I've been using. When um, when Durant went to Golden State. There, there were there were people in the media who reacted negatively and they reacted negatively because they thought it's going to cause a competitive imbalance and that 93 percent of the league, they could blow them out by 25 points on any given night. They just they put the pedal to the metal. They're going to win by 20, 25 points. They were coming five all stars out there, blah, blah, blah. And Sony, whether we like it or not, has created a competitive imbalance and it's left when i hear and shout out to j dub here when he's on these um uh podcasts with you know the xbox people when you really listen to what they're saying it's a scream that microsoft is still relevant so to answer your question why does why do they why are they going to say my uh sony has to change because they want microsoft to feel relevant it is yeah. it's like a football coach who uh, you know? Who starts to change some plays, and then everybody gets fired. You know, you're not doing well. People get fired. A new coach comes in. There's going to be people there who don't feel relevant because you're going to bring in your own shit. You know, you're going to bring in your own coordinators, your own. You know, the way you game plan is going to be different from the former coach. So, um, so they need Microsoft to stay relevant. At the end of the day, what? Why are they? Uh, what's? What are they complaining about? Why are they saying what you're saying right th uh, to this? It's relevancy. They don't feel relevant anymore. Microsoft took that away from them when they put all their games on PC in 15. It was like, we're not relevant anymore. So it's like, okay, this the Gears of War tactics game. Hey, look, that's you're not relevant if you have an Xbox, you know, S or X because that's, you're not getting the game. Even though you can you can mock it and say it's a trash game, 
you'll never know because you're not playing it. You're not getting it. You know, mm-hmm. so and so for Google to come out and say, well, they're and so for the Xbox community, so that's, that's what I call them, for them, it's Sony won't be relevant now because, like J Dub said, because Microsoft controls the Azure cloud, even though they let anybody store things in their Azure cloud. Yeah. I mean, anybody can do it. I can do it. I mean, we can all, you can store this podcast in their cloud if you want to. Yeah. You know, so, you know, and, and uh, you know, it's uh, when. Um, the so why game, is that great? Because it's a service? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's a service. Yeah. And ultimately, you you want to sell the service. It's like when, uh, what do y'all call that guy, El Mega, something about putting his tweet out about Microsoft made 50% of the money off of Spider Man because they, they use the Havoc engine. It's like, well, they, yeah, yeah. yeah they lease the, yeah, they lease it out. It's, it's a service. They don't, they don't, well, here's the thing they don't, they don't understand how these things work anyway. That's why I don't, I don't talk to them when it comes to that. Like, for example, the Havoc license, yeah, they probably only spend like a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> to use it. Is that yeah. these guys think that when they give out these licenses? Like um, Unreal Is Engine, Unreal Tournament. Oh, uh, I mean Unreal Engine free. Yeah, yeah. It's free. yeah. But they, do you guys think that like, a lot of these, like, let's say, like Havoc, they think that Havoc because ha- Havoc's in the game, they get a percentage for every sale of the game. It doesn't work like that. It's a oh, yeah, one-time no. purchase. <laughs> like they literally go to Microsoft and be like, "Hey, we want to use this," you know, because Havoc has different levels. Because you could use Havoc on phones. You know, the, 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 let me ask you a question. Like, hey, we want the AAA level Havoc features. Okay, $150,000. There you go. That's all you pay. You don't pay like $2 million for Havoc because if it costed that too much, they would just make their own. That would be too expensive. Well, it's, it's relevancy. Hold on, let me say this real quick all day. It's relevancy. Right, right, right. It, make, it makes Port, it, Port Rock, it makes Microsoft relevant. The reason why Crap Gamer did the video about the the game that uh is it Capcom or somebody's doing another Marvel game and um he no, Avengers? Avengers? um yeah Square Enix is doing is doing an Avengers type of game and you know they've already said what it's gonna be at they're gonna start with Captain America and or Iron Man. Great, that's fine. The reason why Crap Gamer did a video on Spider-Man very well could be in that game is because the people that he talks to are were screaming that they don't have Spider-Man. And so he's so this way he's like making Microsoft relevant, and that's all this is about. It's about them being pushed to irrelevancy. And of course, there's people like like J Dub who who strikes the match every time <laughs> on on you on a Twitter, and I'm sitting up there just driving a wedge through their heart, you know, letting them know that you know they don't suck because they think they suck. They suck because I said they suck. But you know what? Microsoft did that to themselves, though. I yeah. agree because you could still not have the number one selling console, whatever, right? You could have a console that don't sell too well, but you're still relevant. Because again, look at the Dreamcast. That yep. shit didn't even survive two years. Nope. But to this day, people still say it's one of the best consoles they ever owned. Yep. Because of you games. I don't the think game. there's anybody in the gaming community that will speak bad about the Dreamcast, even though by every measure it is a failure. It didn't even last two years. It died after two years. But you won't find any gamer from any faction, whether it's Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Everybody loved the Dreamcast because of fucking games. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you Go about. I'm not really too savvy on the business side, but I do watch TV, read a few articles here and there. Now, to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, right? When you buy patents and or you buy um, like gaming, whatever you're buying from somebody who's selling or whatever, like say that somebody wants to use a Havoc engine, doesn't that doesn't guarantee you royalties? No, it's no, no, there is no, there is no royalties. It's literally, let's say if you had the all day engine, right? A physics engine. I'd be like, hey, I'm making a big AAA game. I want your, you know, let's say you offer all day engine, right? A physics Mm -hmm. engine, right? And right. you and you scale it because you know you might have people who's making a phone game or a handheld right. game. You know you do it for different levels of production. I come out with a big, you know, you know, X Men game, huge, right? right? And I want the big full feature triple A version. You're mm-hmm. probably gonna charge me one hundred fifty thousand dollar one time deal. And that's the it. only, the only, the only caveat is I can only use that license for this game. Like I can't use it for the sequel. Uh... For the sequel, I have to pay you another one hundred fifty. Like every game I make. I have to pay you one hundred fifty thousand dollars per game. 
Yeah. But that's it. It isn't like if my girl, if my game sells thirty million, you ain't getting shit from that. You, You're not I getting gave no residuals you, off. I, you know, you got your one fifty. That's no, it. No. Because if it was like that, I'm not using your engine. Because why the fuck would I pay you three million dollars? I could just make my own for half the yeah. price mm -hmm. and use it for all my games. Like it wouldn't be so, post effective. Wait, wait, it, so in reverse, so when people make free games off the Unreal Engine, I'm mean not free games, but they use that free software. Yeah. They're basically they're set up to where Unreal will get the residuals off of whatever they make. Other it depends make. on the contract. Like if, right. if 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 Unreal says, and and it may not even charge them at all. It all depends on it depends on the contract. If Unreal says we're not going to charge you up front. We're only going to charge you a percentage per game. So then it's like that. But Havoc's right. not like that because Havoc used to be owned by Intel. It was never right. like that. Havoc was literally a one-time fee. Like you're literally buying the use for your game at that given time. Yeah, and that's it. And, and it's only like $150,000. Yeah. Wow. It's not that and So people are under, under impression that Microsoft gets paid every time someone buys No, it. they don't make money <laughs> off of every game sold. Microsoft well, got like 150 k well, the tweet, Microsoft, listen, Microsoft really bought Havoc for one main reason, and that's to replace their DX physics, which wasn't good at all. Their yeah, DX yeah. physics sucks. As part of their, you know, their DirectX package, yeah. you know, DirectX package was broken down into subgroups, you know, DX sound, DX physics, whatever. The yeah. physics portion was garbage. So they had to do something to keep their DirectX relevant. So they bought Havoc and they use Havoc, you know? So yeah. Havoc... They have a licensing for everybody that wants to use it individually, but the same physics engine is within their DirectX tool sets. It's the same exact engine. That's all they really bought it for because the ad, the one they were using, the one they created was fucking garbage. And they were, they were about to lose people from saying, you know what? We're not going to use DirectX. We're going to stick with OpenGL because the physics engine sucks ass. That's all it was. That was their answer to save DirectX. That's all Havoc was. It was a fucking. It was to save DirectX tool sets because so, that so, physics engine sucked ass. So out of all the money, right, that Microsoft make or is supposed to be making, that these guys hype up how much their profits they have. Out of all that money, how does that help gaming? How does that help uh, there not be any games? I don't understand that because these guys hype up the pockets. I mean, I, all day, it, every day. But I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, 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 what's it? What, what, when was it? Were you on the podcast? Remember 2K when yeah. we did the multiplayer podcast? Yeah. Remember, he tried to he changed it up at the end, but remember, he tried to pull the Sony has a two to one console ratio, yeah, yet they're not right. making two to one money, right? Yep. yep, because Sony made 17 billion one year and Xbox made 10 billion in that same year, and that's not exactly two to one ratio. That's when I interrupt. I'm like, whoa, 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 yep. that 10 billion doesn't involve. A lot of it doesn't involve the console of Xbox. Exactly. Some of it involves Simply Gun money, yep. Havoc money, and PlayFab money. Yep. You know, in fact, the more Sony does better, the more money Microsoft makes off of PlayFab, Simply Gun, and Havoc. Technically, yep. it could get to the point where Microsoft sees more money from those three things than yep. their own game making division. Yep. And then, you know, Nito's trying to get in. Oh, you're trying to handicap Microsoft. I'm like, no, no, I'm not trying to handicap Microsoft. I'm just trying to make sure that the picture is painted clear. That if we're going to talk about two-to-one console revenue, then we need to look at console revenue. Do not include Play Fab, Simply Gone, and Havoc. Because that has nothing to do with the Xbox console. Even though it's under the gaming revenue, that's separate revenue that that's has nothing to do with Xbox. So let's find out what Xbox revenue is. And I guarantee that it's probably more than two to one revenue from Sony versus Xbox. Mm -hmm. Right? What's what's giving Microsoft a good chunk of money is simply gone and play fab because those things are used by the industry across the board. Ubisoft, Activision, everyone, even Nintendo uses simply gone. Yeah, everyone is using all that shit. So a good chunk of money is coming from that things too. If you subtract that money and see why Xbox specifically, and I even include Game Pass, Game Pass on Xbox, whatever digital sales on Xbox, physical sales on Xbox, what is that money? I guarantee Sony is destroying that specific segment of revenue. You know, Sony doesn't have services that caters to everybody they don't have their own simply gone they don't have their own play flab or you know havoc engine whatever 
their revenue is strictly off the PlayStation brand, which is fine, you know. And I'm not knocking Microsoft being smart buying those things. I'm just saying when people say Sony has a two to one lead, but not two to one money, they're not being honest. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's the, and then notice MM2K changed up the conversation because <laughs> he, he realized why I was talking about. You know what I'm saying. If we're going to talk about two to one console money, then let's talk two to one console money. Don't include Simply Gone, Play Flab, and Havoc. Let's talk what con Xbox console. Don't even include the shit on PC either. What is Xbox console doing? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Totally different picture. Anyway, are you saying, Craig? Well, everything you just said, everything that gentleman was saying at the end of that podcast is a way to keep Microsoft relevant. That's it. That, that's all it's, it's come. I mean, that's where they are. They're not talking about the games. They're not talking about anything else. They're talking about them, how do we stay relevant in this conversation? And when that, if you just, if you step back and you look at it like that, everything, I mean, it's as dumb as they sound. That's what it's always been about. It's all, because like uh, one of the subs said, uh, talking to them is like talking to a preschooler about, their favorite about how what their lunchbox looks like you know that's what they sound like to me it's just they're always they're arguing about what's relevant and what's not relevant it doesn't matter what they think kind of like the rock says what they're going to do is what they're going to do and they just i don't know why they just can't accept it and they always want to spin stuff that's what i don't understand it's just they always want to keep spinning stuff to try to favor them because it's, they're being made irrelevant. It's like they're being pushed off the off of a cliff. Instead of just jumping off the cliff and accepting reality, they're, they're arguing. Like, Stop, just jump bitch. off the cliff and land in a PlayStation bus, bro. <laughs> no, you could. Yeah. Or, or sign, like J Dub, he always puts that gift out of people signing that pony contract. Sign you a pony contract. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what's crazy is what's crazy is doesn't matter. You know, council war, not council war, in doesn't matter what brand you love. When you step back, you can clearly identify Sony when it comes to home consoles and with the PlayStation 4, they figured out the winning formula. This is how you create a competitive, powerful, most popular console of all time. This is what you need to do, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of, you know, the Microsoft writers, whatever, being like, you know what? Microsoft, that is what you need to do to make Xbox great again. At the very least, maybe you won't be Sony, but at the very least, you will create in its own right the best S Xbox platform. <laughs> you could actually, I know I said Xbox and shit. The best <laughs> Xbox platform that you could create. That's how crappy that thing is. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you yeah. mimic Sony, and I'm not saying release the same games. I'm not saying create an Uncharted clone, create uh, uh, a The Last of Us clone. Make I'm not saying that. Man. Make your own experiences, but look at what Sony's doing. First party output of the top compelling experiences you can create. Create the best games you can possibly create. Create the best new IPs you can possibly create. You understand what I'm saying? This is how you're doing it. Make those experiences, right? Not for the general public, because I'll be honest. I understand from, uh, 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 I don't know, what's the good word? Good Samaritan, I guess you could put it. That, oh, you know, we need to make games for everybody. I firmly believe that when a company makes an exclusive for your specific Xbox, there's this certain, what can I say? There's this certain incentive yeah. that a publisher and developer has Making exclusive because they realize this game does more. The game needs to do more than just be a good game. The right. game has to sell consoles. It has to convince people that, hey, you want to drop $400 for this. Right. You know, a good game, right? If you're just worried about a good game, then the good game just needs to convince you to pay $60. Exactly. That's all it really look, needs look, to look, do. Point rock, That's for what example. Do. You know what I mean? But a great, compelling game. Or game, like if you're a developer, right? Mm. And the publisher's like, hey, you got to make a great game. But keep in mind, it's not just the game that you have to sell for $60. You have to sell this console. Yeah, if we don't sell okay. consoles, we go under. And if we go under, you go under. <laughs> Wait, me, That's how it is. Let me, let me yep. just say this real quick. When I was primarily playing on the 
360 last gen, right? I went from the PS2 to the 360, right? And then eventually I got both consoles, right? But what made me buy a PS3? The games. You guys take take, take a guess. What Gears game? of War. Right. Gears of War. No, what, what, what game made On me PlayStation? get up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what, what, I guess that would be The Last of Us. Maybe yeah. The Last of Us? God of War. Oh, God of War, yeah. And The Last of Us. Well, I thought that he made me buy a fucking $400 console. Mm. Two games. You have to keep that in mind. Console sellers. It gave me an incentive to buy the console, which is the most important thing we do as gamers, right? Yep. It's important to feel that urge to purchase because that's what that company wants, right? If I can get all my multiplats, if that, that's all that mattered, then I wouldn't need another console. Right? Yep. Here's so, my thing. Oh, go ahead. Go. No, no, finish, finish, finish. No, I'm, I'm just saying, like, games matter. And then if yes. you want people to gravitate to streaming, motherfucker, give me something to stream. Exactly. Here's my thing. Here's the thing. People mentioned, and I saw Tindog, shout out to Tindog. I don't know if he left or not. He mentioned they bought, you know, uh, Ninja Theory, Compulsion Games, 600 devs, all that. But here's my question. I'm going to give you two scenarios. If, let's say, Sony were to buy Insomniac, right? Yeah. I know the reason why they bought Insomniac, obviously, was because, you know, the success was Spider-Man. But I know Sony bought Insomniac because they want Insomniac to make games that will help sell the PlayStation 5. Yes. That's the reason why they bought them. Like, hey, we bought you. You got to make games. But keep in mind, you're not just selling $60 games. You are selling the PlayStation 5. That's why we bought you. You are yep. selling the PlayStation 5. And it's going to cost $500, $400. You got to find a way to convince people to buy our $400 machine. Because, again, if we go under, you, you go under. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If we if you if we go, you go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because we're all part of the same blueprint, right? Microsoft <laughs> bought Ninja Theory, and I love Ninja Theory, right? Can't wait to play the next game. But is Ninja Theory making a game that needs to sell Xbox Scarlet, or are they just making a game that just needs to sell on whatever fucking device is available? There's exactly. a difference. Yep. There's a difference. If Ninja Theory is just making a game and they'd be like, don't worry about it. It's going to be on phones. It's going to be on tablets. It's on PC. It's on Scarlet. It's on xCloud. Just make the game and we're going to put it on every device. So, once again, don't make a game that really needs to sell itself. You know? But if you tell Ninja Theory, hey, Ninja Theory, we're going to make a game and it's only going to be available on Xbox Scarlet. You need to make this game sell Xbox Scarlet. Then Ninja Theory has a different motivation now. They'd be like, okay, it's not just about selling our game for $60. We got to sell Scarlet, and it's going to be $500 Beast. What game do we make that's going to make people say, I got to buy an Xbox? Because there's a difference between saying, I got to buy that game, and I got to buy a console to play that game. It's two different metrics. Yeah. Saying, I got to buy that game, you just, you just buy it. You know? Like, nin like Ninja Blade. Yeah. Ninja Blade did not sell consoles. But hey, I you know well technically it didn't even sell anything, you know it didn't sell too. I did all right, you know. I'll take like Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty doesn't sell consoles. It just nope. it's just a game that sells, you know. Right. So people be like, oh, I gotta play Call of Duty. All right, yeah, I play it. I got a PC, I got an Xbox, I got a PlayStation. I'm gonna play Call of Duty, right? Yeah. But Spider Man, that motherfucker, you gotta buy a PlayStation. And yeah. when people saw that, I gotta get a PlayStation. And I'm gonna buy a the, fucking PlayStation. You have people who didn't care, just yep. like all day. I gotta buy a console. That's the type of game that Microsoft needs to make. But Microsoft doesn't have that motivation no more because they even telling you you don't gotta buy a console. They're yep. literally consistently saying that now. Play on whatever you want, and then add to the fact that. And this is this is the thing, and, and, and you know, for the consumer, great service. But the next Ninja Theory game is going to be on Game Pass day one, so yep. you could play Ninja Theory's game for ten dollars. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you know, well, yeah. Just I feel like, um, yeah, it just uh, 
I, I forgot what I was going to say. We're here watching this LSU Georgia hey, game. You pay the bills. But, Carlos Crespin, hold on. Carlos Crespin, thank you for the two dollars super chat. He says, "Nice to see the show back. Keep up the keep up the Lord's work." <laughs> thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. And overdone again, two dollar euro. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. He says, "Anything Microsoft buys might as well be dead." Yeah. Well, I know what I was going to say. They almost did buy. If you want to look at it in a default way, Insomniac it is there's going to be a there's more than likely going to be an announced sequel for another Spider-Man game. So I think they said they signed for two or three games. So they are at this point, and that is a priority. They re they report to Sony, and Sony goes to Bob Iger, who is the high lord on the top of he is the man in the castle, okay, <laughs> at, at, at Disney. So uh, Insomniac yeah. by default. Is now that's not that they won't make other games, but they're going to be spending most of their top tier energy on these Spider Man games. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so uh, but and so because uh, people have emailed me like, Hey, is Sony going to buy any studios? And it's like, Well, they really don't need to. I mean, they they create Sony create studios more. I mean, that's what I've seen the difference is Microsoft by default. Uh, going into the next generation, there's not going to be, this is for people who are wondering what the power difference is in the next group of consoles. There's not going to be any. If a game is going to be 4K native on the Scarlet, I'm talking about a AAA third party game, it will be the same on the PlayStation. So this is why Microsoft is loading up on first party studios because they it's going to come down to what we used to go through, guys. I would go to the store, there was a Dreamcast part to buy their games. There was a Neo Geo part. There was a PS1 part. There was a thing for PCs, little kiosk and stuff like that. So I that's what we're going to be back to, which is that's what we need to get back to. Because the problem right now is that when you got cats like Angry Joe and you know people writing articles on talking about Sony, it's such a it's such a disparaging in games that um, they want Sony to make games for everybody. I mean, literally. I mean, you you got guys saying that exclusives are now anti-consumer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yep. You I know, Angry and, Joe, and I'm an Angry Joe fan, and I seen him yeah. start to talk like that. He when he yeah. talked about when he did the Spider-Man review, he's like, "Oh man, my buddy wants to play it." But I'm like, "Fuck, it's on PlayStation only. I guess you're gonna have to buy a PlayStation." But he was saying it as in like, "Oh man, this game shouldn't be an exclusive." And you know, some to some degree, I understand you know, where people come from when they say that. But mm -hmm. hey, it is what it is. Nothing we can do to change that, right? But, right. but I do think that them buying studios now is kind of more alarming and worries me more than them not buying the studios. Because at least before, you didn't give a fuck and we knew it and it was evident. But to realize that you have a management problem in your infrastructure of, of your gaming division to this late in the game, acquire studios that still aren't proven is <laughs> fucking alarming. Like, what have you been doing for this past generation? Just but, te but Terry Marson and Danny D. Man, fuck all that. <laughs> look, look, hey, y'all need, look, they need management structure. They need better structure, period. Yeah. I feel like when they're in the mic in Redmond, they're just playing fucking nerf balls in the office. That's what I feel like they're doing. Yeah, and well, until shit got real bad, and they had to revert to Game Pass, which is is pretty con pro consumer. I'm not gonna you know ne negate the fact, but at the same time, it's like I'm not gonna reward you for doing something that should already been should already been your focus. Yeah, yeah, you know this should have been in place already. We I already said that Phil Spencer day one when he came in, even even if. Power was something he was interested, you know, with the Xbox One, right? Let's say that was his number one priority. Number two should have been games. Yeah. He should have yeah. been in 2014, as soon as he came in, hey, we need to push on, get games, because we need to keep pushing. Because if mm -hmm. anything, the only thing Xbox One had that was of any good news in 2014 was the exclusives. Yeah. That was really the only good thing it had. That's true. So why would you let the one piece of good news in the start of the gen let let it go? That was the one thing that was at least talked about in a positive way was all the new exclusives Xbox One was gaming. Why would you take your foot off the pedal on that one? Granted, some of those games, as we look back, were failures. 
We could we could we could objectively see that games like Rise and Dead Rising were not truly console sellers. We could look back, see even Sunset Overdrive. We could look back and be like, okay, those games weren't truly console sellers, but it at least built a reputation for Xbox One as having exclusives. Yeah. Keep it up. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, shout out to Stu Shaw in the chat. He said 69 is the new 89. I mean, you had, that's how bad it was. I mean, it's, at one point, it's like, gee, look, I like a 69. That's like everybody else. But, you know, oh, but not when it comes to game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But with that said, uh, it's it's um, going going forward. It, I mean, that's what that's what cracks me up is when it's almost like somebody you're you're it's almost like the boss makes a decision. And they say, here's what we're going to do going forward. And you always got some numb nuts running his mouth. Saying, we're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Like, they just said they were going to do it. You know, yeah. <laughs> they don't come to work on Monday because we're going to uh, demolish some things. And then, he, then your dumb ass shows up. Well, I didn't know. I didn't think they were going to do that. I mean, well, I mean, come on. I mean, I just don't get the why, why people are being so argumentative. It's like, shout out to Randall Thor. And he was on 60 Frames of Lag last year. And he said Microsoft is going to go in a direction that a lot of people aren't going to like. Yeah. Well, now we're seeing it. We, I mean, yeah. Rand, shout out to Randall Thor, and he and hit he hit twenty thousand subs. So shout out to him. Um, but he was on, yeah, he was on this podcast, and he flat said they're going in a direction that like, and these cats don't like it. Xbox yeah. app, yep, Xbox app. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. say this. I'm gonna say yeah. this. You know, we we we've done this podcast from a was consistent for a long time, right? Obviously. It's not an Xbox specific podcast, like centric, right? Maybe closer to PlayStation, but we were fair across the board. You know, we kept it real. I never, at no point, tried to make this podcast into a, a scripted pro PlayStation shit. Yeah, it was. You know, you know, we never played that shit, right? I had fucking Fame Two K on this show. Kid Smooth ran out door. I don't care who you I had, Blandrew. Doesn't matter who you, you know. I never, you know, I never try to keep it to just one community all over, right? Right. Yep. People are gonna look at this podcast, this show today, and be like, "Why is Porter Rock worrying about Xbox when he's not an Xbox fan?" Here's the thing. I, I'm a fan of gaming, right? He wants to be a fan. Team. No. <laughs> well, here's the thing in general. I'm a fan of gaming. Right. If you make a good gaming device, I'm gonna play it because it's a game. At the end of the day, no matter the device, it's a it's some type of unit. That connects to your TV, and you have a peripheral called the controller, and you play the game. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, a good game's a good game, right? You be, you be cuphead, right? So. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Microsoft, when you look at what they did this gen, they done more to take away from the console than to make the console better. Yeah. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? The only thing they did to make the console better was create the Xbox One X. But the consumer has to invest another five hundred dollars to just get that. Yep. With no games to reciprocate on that extra investment, and I wasn't feeling that. Hell, I didn't even buy a pro, and Sony is giving me games, and I didn't even do that. Right? <laughs> Wait, remember, oh, 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 X. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean I'm saying all Microsoft has done is more and more. The more they talk, the more they are telling me, Porter Rock, do not buy our console. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're literally listen. They are like, if, like, like if it's just me. Like again, I don't care what the Xbox podcast say, whatever. Because you know, it's my money. It's my goddamn debit card. No one else is giving make, giving me the money to buy this console, right? Yeah. So I'm looking at Microsoft. Do you want me to buy a console? And I swear to God, Phil's telling me no, Porter Rock, don't do it. Yeah, our games is on PC, PC, Porter Rock. Hell, not only is our games on PC, we're making PC exclusives, Porter Rock. Right. So technically, if you go PC, you'll get more of our games than you yeah. would do on our console. Hey, That's hey. literally what I'm reading from Microsoft. Phil Spencer like, said, right? Mm -hmm. He did, he said we want you. He didn't say we want you to play on Xbox. He said we want you to play on any and everything you. Anywhere you want, anywhere on on anything. So he's a, he's yeah. advocating for everything, not Xbox, right? And yeah. then on top of that, now with this X Cloud, Phil Spurs is like Porter Rock. If you really don't want to buy a PC, you could just download the app and play whatever game you feel like it. Don't. 
pay five hundred dollars for the next Xbox. Yeah, it's, that's literally what I'm getting from him. He's yeah. not telling me a hey, Porter Rock. If you don't get my console, you're screwed because you won't be able to do this, that, and a third. So if you like games, trust me, Porter Rock. Some of the best games you're gonna play, you can only get it on Scarlet. He's not saying that to me. He's literally telling me. The phone you have in your pocket could play these games. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and well, this is the problem. They are now. They may change their messaging up when Scarlet comes out. But at the end of the day. How, though? I All don't the know. games. No. Here's the but thing. It, People are like, this is going to be a con. There is no console war next gen. No, there is right. none. Yeah, it, there is there. none. There is no console war next gen because you can't have a war with a device that people don't need in the first place. Yep, I agree. No one needs an Xbox. Yes, I understand it is a choice. You can choose to get a Scarlet if you want to, but you don't need a Scarlet. And since you don't need it, it doesn't partake in a console war. There's no battle with PS5. PS5 is going to bring shit that you're going to be like, God damn, I need a PlayStation 5. Scarlet yep. is not going to bring any gaming entertainment where you look at it and be like, damn, I got to get me a Scarlet. No. Exactly. You'd be like, damn, those are some dope games, Microsoft, and I'm going to play it on this xCloud app. Yep. I'm going to play it on fucking PC. And yo, Zaire made a mention. Yo, what if Sony doesn't do anything and you open up a web browser and you play it on the web browser on your PlayStation 5? Tell yeah. me that won't be fucked up. You're playing X Cloud on a PlayStation Five web browser. Well, again, I don't. I truly don't think they'll offer it. They're gonna offer it, but I think Sony because they're they're trans because the first two years uh, they're gonna support. My understanding is they're gonna support PlayStation. Then they're gonna start pulling back, and some studios are gonna say, "Well, we're not gonna put games on PS4. This is only gonna be PS5." Yeah. So I think Sony at that point very well. If Microsoft is ready. But they're going to go ahead and say, well, we're just going to, you can put that on on PlayStation 4. Okay, that's fine. If you want to do, and they, Microsoft can say, what about crossplay? Sony can say, fine. PlayStation 4, you all want to play, everybody survive together, we want to call it fine. But PS5, this is our this is our new bitch, you ain't putting fingers on it. You know, so, and that's what I think they're going to, and they're going to offer some stuff for Nintendo too, because... Going forward, that's what they are going. What they want to do I, I, again. Netflix is everywhere. Netflix is everywhere. You think Netflix isn't running around talking about what it's got to do? Um, I, th I don't. I don't think Sony's going to allow the whole streaming service only because that takes away, or not may not even completely take away, but they will have to share the third party revenue. So whatever third party game is played on this X Cloud, Microsoft gets a cut. And I don't think Sony wants to give Microsoft a cut of third party. Now, I could see the streaming be limited to Microsoft publish only games. Like they have the app and the only games you can access from it is, you know, Halo, Gears, yeah, Minecraft. Like just everyone to play Halo. No, those are his I, no, no, no. I, know, I understand what Phil wants. I'm just talking about on Sony's end. I don't think oh. Sony wants to share Call of Duty revenue with Microsoft. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, that, that's that's what I'm saying. Sony's yeah. like, listen, you could put streaming, but you're only limited to your published games. Do not put third party games on there because we want our consumers to buy third party directly from us and exactly. not have to do with you. So I could see like some type of limited Xbox thing to where you could play your Halo Gears, Record, all that garbage, whatever, you know? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I can see that, but that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know some people are going to look at this podcast and be like, oh, these guys are crazy. Why would Microsoft care to keep their games off of PlayStation? They don't give a fuck about their console. Yeah. yeah. It's about They're the giving service. you hundreds of reasons not to buy their console. They, they even says consoles are flagship experience. That's it. That's what they whittled consoles down. I, I think, who was it? Man, I think, was it UJ? No, somebody. No, I think it was maybe MM2K. He feels that Microsoft is so not worried about console sales for next gen that Scarlet could be a $700 device. And they could be like, well, that's what you want, right? You want the best console. Here you go, $700. If you don't want it, go get the X Cloud. It's very cheap. It's only 80 bucks or whatever. 
and you get all the games there. It's gonna just, be affordable, but they just well, can't. I just don't see. I just don't see them. Why not though? Think about this. Been in all Think that about this. If Microsoft does not care about hardware sales, right? They could just be like, they they could be like, let's not worry about volume of console sales. Let's just. It's like the Surface Tablet. Let's just sell a very expensive device and make money off of the very few hardcore. Everybody else, play your games on PC or on streaming. Yeah. But if you really want an Xbox console, I mean, fuck, these people are buying $150 controllers. Yeah. That's well, true. yeah, but I think you make a legitimate point about um, the third party thing. But when you look at it as a service, that that's what people got to really you got people got to really understand that I can go to a grocery store, um, I can go to Kroger and get Chips Ahoy cookies. I can go somewhere, I can go to uh, Walmart and get Chips Ahoy cookies. I just you know if that's the service because because they are the Bisco's offering the service of the cookies. So and that's all it is. I've never understood why people just can't accept that they are going to be a. They said this. I mean, it's not like I'm not. It's not like I'm making this shit up. People, I, you know, the, the facts are the truth's out there. They said they want to be able to, they want people to play the games where they want on what device they want. Now, yeah. if, if, if J Dub, so if you have a switch somewhere and you're you're traveling, you know, you're on a plane, you pull it, you know, you say, well, I'm gonna play on the switch and you want to play Halo, yeah. that's the device you want to play on. Microsoft is going to provide a service that, that you can, and that doesn't mean that Nintendo goes balls to the wall and says, okay, we're gonna do it. It's still going to be something that the, but you know, Phil Spencer went back to Japan. Okay, yeah. he, uh, you know, so he's there now. Choi Yon Yon, what do you think right. he's doing? He went, to go get his, right. he went to go get his Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so move on to the next topic. Um, Andrew Wilkins, thank you for the five dollar super chat, brother. He said Microsoft didn't have to buy studios this gen. They know how retarded their fan base is. Xbox fans get excited for weak Forza games every year. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> man. Man, this guy's man, you guys are putting it up in the chat. Um, so my final topic, and this is my final rant, right? Where the fuck did all these PlayStation handheld gamers come from? Like, I want to know this 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 fever for Sony to make another handheld. When clearly, and maybe you guys have the opposite opinion, but hear me out real quick. I don't think Sony made a successful handheld yet. Now, obviously, everybody's gonna look at the PSP and they're gonna be like, Porter Rock, it sold 80 million. All right, let's let's look at this. Right, mm -hmm. here my points out Sony's most successful handheld sold as much as their most failed console. Let's start with that point because PS3 sold 80 million also, but it was six hundred dollars. That was the reason why it sold so low in terms of PlayStation performance. Vito sold 80 million because I mean, on um, PSP sold 80 million because that's all it was going to sell. But here's the kicker, right? By the time um, PlayStation 3 hit 70 million, it was close to 600 million game sales, right? Yeah. The PSP only sold 300 million games, around 300 million games in its entire lifetime. No one really bought games. Most people were like, oh, yeah, we bought it for the homebrew. So we're going to make a new PlayStation handbell for fucking homebrew? Yeah. Like, why do people want another PlayStation hand? Like, do people not realize Sony can't really make a successful handheld? That is not what people really want. Again, look at PlayStation 4. It is the most successful console of all time, not just for the PlayStation brand, in gaming, period, right? And now when you look at the direction gaming is going, or at least some companies took... Nintendo's not fucking around with dedicated consoles no more. Yep. They're probably going to stick with the Switch concept because it works for them. And that's perfectly fine. It works for them, right? Microsoft is kumbaya, put their games on everything. So they're not really all in on the dedicated com you know, console. So really, Sony's really the only one doing it. So any gamer that wants that classic traditional console where the focus is on that console... Sony's going to be the only provider from here on out to actually do that, right? Yeah. Why the fuck do we want them to waste their time on a mobile device when clearly Nintendo has that on lock? And Sony never had the mods. 
Vita, that shit was GameCube. Hell, I would say that shit was Virtual Boy. That shit was the worst PlayStation anything they ever did. It was sales wise. Yeah, everything from sales to game sales. I mean, granted, the design of the unit was nice. Yeah. Right. The actual concept and the hardware design was it's nice. still more advanced than a Switch right now. Yeah, but that doesn't mean a damn thing mm-hmm. if no one's buying it. Yeah. No one's buying Beautiful. it, and no one's buying the games. And that's the same thing I bought with PSP. PSP sold eighty million. But no one was really buying games. It only sold 300 million total in its lifetime. Again, the PS3, by the time it hit 70 million, was already at twice as much. People was buying games on the PS3. And some people would say PS3 wasn't selling that many games either. So imagine the PSP with only around 300 million game sales. No one was buying games. So why are people fooling themselves into thinking Sony should do another device where it's already been proven two generations in a row, people don't really buy PlayStation handheld games. Do, what do, you, you, think guys, play- do, you, guys, do you guys have a different opinion on this? What do you guys think? Do, do you think PlayStation is trying to try something on their own that's different? Like- I don't think Sony needs to do that. Like they, I, I can understand if PlayStation 4 was moderate success or good success. Bro, we're talking Sony... Hit levels of gaming no company has ever done. Literally, they are literally the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> Imagine if the Golden State Warriors today said, you know what? We're going to get rid of Steph Curry and all these players, and we're going to put nothing but rookies. And yep, that's the secret to winning the NBA Finals. Like the formula that you have now is guaranteed rings. Like, you are guaranteed a ring. So why would you even attempt shit that you know you failed already at? Why go back there? Like, what is it? Why why, why not revisit it when they're having so much success now? They have... No, but they have... I mean, they have so much success in consoles. Right. Not in handhelds. Again, it's already proven. Just because you did good in one thing doesn't mean you do great in another. Look at Microsoft. They had ultimate success as a company who delivers operating systems and productivity software for you know for computers and PC and IT industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they're getting their asses handed in gaming. It sounds like one market, sector. Gaming. One sector doesn't relate to another. I don't think people want PlayStation portable devices. They just don't want it. It, it, it. Listen, it sounds good in theory, uh, but it, it depends on what Sony is looking for. Are they looking to win in the handheld market or just give their gamers an, another avenue in gaming? So, I mean, it, it just depends on what the goal is. If they ever think that they could actually beat Nintendo in a handheld, I mean, that's far fetched. <laughs> Nobody, I mean, there's been like you got you got the Atari Lynx, you have the Game uh, Gear, yeah, the, the, the Game Gear. The PSP the got his ass handed. You had the Sega Nomad, you you had I mean it's just so many. Many. Here's the truth. Wow. We need to look at history, and, yeah. the, and there's no better example than Sega. Yep. You can only go so long creating felt hardware and stay relevant in the industry. Yep. You can only go so long, right? Right now, Sony's in the best position for their PlayStation division. Why would you purposely create a chink in your armor? If you built the armor and it is absolutely perfectly designed, why would you purposely create a flaw in your own armor design? Yeah. You know, what would be the point? Again, no one, I'm going to be honest, the numbers show no one really wants PlayStation handhelds. Like, is Sony having an issue that you can't play Uncharted on the bus? What is it with playing games on the bus now? Well, like, let me what, say this. What is this? Let me give a shout out to Foxy Games UK. He did say, do not get rid of your Vita. And he's been pretty spot on when he when it comes to the leaks. So you may they may be they may have something planned. Not, I mean, he didn't say anything definite, just it, there could be something planned. So um, I, to me, it's not going to sell to me. I don't know if I'll get a PS5 or not because the, the two games I'm really interested in will be on the PlayStation 4, the uh, the Ghost of Tsushima game and the uh, the Last of Us game. 
So, uh, and plus, you know, I'll, I'll just watch that scene over and over where those two chicks are kissing, you know, so I, I'm, I'm happy with that. But with that said, with, yeah, with that said, yeah, like I, said, I think, man, if you sold that down, you would see a little nip in that, but that's just my opinion. And maybe it's just me seeing that. Uh, Harry, Harry Heck, uh -huh. thank you so much for Super Chat. He says, do we have the time for a beat or two like this gen have looked with PS4 exclusives? We wouldn't have time to boot up a handheld between our PS4 gaming today. Exactly. Here's my thing. I'd rather them invest in VR. If, if, like, if, like they've been yes. Doing. And you like know, some people, doing. Some people like, you know, I had, a, I had an argument on Twitter. People were like, well, Sony invests in VR. It's the same thing. I'm like, no, it's not the same thing. And yeah. they're, like, how, they're like, how is it not the same thing? Because PSVR enhances PS4. Yeah, right. Yeah. The VR 2 is not going to enhance the PlayStation 5. Wait, if anything, wrong point, Rock. They want to take VR on the bus. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, I don't know, man. This this whole bus thing is becoming a movement. Yeah. Like, are we are like people no longer buying cars? Hey, all I can say is this: a it's a bunch of broke gamers out there can't afford no cars. This, 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 this is the only thing I'm afraid about. Sony, they react too fast on to other people's successes. That's yeah. true. That's you know, so they see the switch flying off shelf. I got it. Switch is very successful. People are buying it. Can we let Nintendo have that? I'm yeah, cool yeah. with Nintendo dominating the mobile gaming yeah. market. Yeah. But, but, but well, that doesn't right. take you away from Sony. You've been well, a what PlayStation fan money for, for them to support it all. I'm what? saying I don't disagree. Well, with you don't understand. It doesn't matter if you have enough money. If you the money that you have to support it, you're not doing it just to doing it. You're putting in. You're investing your money because that product is supposed to give you back the money plus profit. Yes. So let's say you invest five hundred million in in Vita two and it flops. You just lost five hundred million dollars. Yep. For do what? You do a lot of research. You do a lot of history. You know, we call you Doctor P Rock, right? Y your mic is really low all day. Hold on. Let me see. I, I boost. Yeah, I boosted you all the way up. Oh no, no. Okay, I boost you up again. All right, they should hear you now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. So, Puerto Rico, you've been a fan. You like following statistics and facts and articles yeah. and all that stuff, right? Of course. So throughout, throughout the years, right, when has Sony really not copied Nintendo? They, they always usually, do, bro. They always do. That's their main yeah. rival. Yeah. Do the past business ventures, But right? they got to be smart, man. For once, be smart. Be like, you know what? When it comes to handheld, we suck. Right. So we're not <laughs> doing that. That's right. all you – sometimes you got to be real. We suck right. at this. You don't, Sony does not have to provide a mobile handheld. They don't. They really don't. They don't have to do it. Okay. Yeah. They, do, they don't necessarily have to be. They're not going to, PlayStation brand is not going to collapse because they're not pushing out failed handhelds. You right. don't have to do it. You could let Nintendo have it. It's not going to take away from the very thing people want. People okay. want a dedicated console. The numbers show it. PlayStation 4 is doing the best as ever can. When PlayStation 5 comes out, people want a PlayStation 5 with great hardware, great price, and games that they cannot play anywhere else. They want they reasons to buy the PS5. They don't give a shit about a PlayStation mobile device. The people that do are far and few between. Sony's not going to make money off that idea. There, there, there's a lot of guys who claim to want a, a, another Vita 2 or whatever, but a lot of those guys are not going to go out and buy that. And here's the thing, right? It's because you're always going to compare that mobile handheld to the main console. And then the first time you see compromises, then it's going to throw you. It's going to. And, and then even that, even that, let's say Sony did make a Vita 2. Let's say they make a Vita 2, right? One of the biggest complaints of the Vita 2 is, right? Because yeah. this is a PlayStation device. They didn't buy the Vita 2 for multiplats. Yep. They want what? What do every if we all gonna buy a Vita 2, why are we really gonna buy it for? It isn't to play fucking Call of Duty on the bus. Yep. We want exclusives. Yep. We want the best games possible on this device. Yep. Who's gonna make them? Yep. Who? Naughty Dog? Right, what if they make I don't game? want Naughty Dog to make a fucking Vita game. Yeah. If Naughty Dog spends any time making games, it's on the PlayStation 5. Well, Stay the fuck they, away from the Vita 2. <laughs> what if they make a Vita and they just allow you to 
put your other Vita games on it, and they give it a a boost. I don't know what they're playing at. Well, let's just say the Vita was at 480p. I'm not saying it was. But let's just, for example, say the game's at 480p, and they can get them to 720p. Well, then you're, then you're thinking like the Xbox guys, right? Yeah, I was just thinking well, about it. Well, 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 to play, play, play backwards compatible game stuff. Exactly. Well, well I mean, I'm just putting it out there. It's like, I, I, I'm just, you know, do not sell your videos. That's it. Don't get rid of them. But, bro, no, listen. Well, listen verification. So, Foxy, hold on. Foxy Games said, do not sell your Vita. That's, that's what he all said. He said. Yeah, that's I, that's if it. I was on that podcast, I would have said, who the fuck even bought Vita? <laughs> like, who are you talking to when you say don't sell your Vita? Like, well, they don't it. even make the I'm thing no it. more. Is that a production? Oh, yeah. It's just they may have something coming. They may not. They, they may be. But, all right, let me ask you this. One, they don't make Vita no more. It's out yeah. of production. So, and two, no one bought the damn thing. So what are the, so what is Sony planning on doing with a device that nobody owns? And two, they don't even make themselves. Well, I don't disagree. I'm just I'm saying, saying so what, what what's gonna happen? Oh, well, like, what could I they possibly like? In your opinion, what could they possibly do with a device? I don't think that I don't think the thing sold even fifteen million. To be honest, yeah. so let's say at best fifteen million. Number one and number two, Sony doesn't make it anymore. So what do they have planned? Yep. Well, like the what are they gonna do? Yeah, well, it will. No, but I'm asking. I'm asking if they work. I'm asking. I'm. I'm not saying I don't wait and see. I'm just asking your opinion. In oh, your mind, if you work for Sony, they, what what plan would you implement? They have an update for it. They we, we just don't. But, I don't know. I mean, what is the update gonna do? Well, like I said, I, my little source didn't say anything about it. So when he said don't sell it, I it kind of I was like, oh, okay. Well, you know, he's been pretty. Okay, spot fine. On. So let's say we don't sell it. What do we get out of it? Oh, that, uh, and how do and let's say let's say it's a great feature, right? Right. right? Let's assume it's phenomenal. Let's okay. let's pretend whatever this thing does, it's fucking the voice of fucking PlayStation. It's like, oh my god, this is <laughs> this is the return of Jesus, right? Yeah. <laughs> how is the rest of us gonna enjoy it? Sony doesn't make the damn thing anymore. Yeah, I don't disagree. So how are, so let's say there's 15 million, right? 80 uh -huh. minus 15 million is what 65. How is the other 65 million PlayStation 4 gamers going to enjoy this thing when you can't buy it? They don't wow. make it no more. Yeah. I, yeah, well, I don't know. Well, I mean, <laughs> wait, 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 something I, I, I think your source is on crack, man. Yo, I don't know. Your source might be yeah, a little like, spooky. Like somebody said in the chat it could be something that just streams. It could be a streaming uh, device. Okay, I don't know. So let's say it's a streaming device. How? How? Let me put it this way. How am I going to enjoy it? They don't make oh, the damn thing no more. Know. That one. <laughs> exactly, they don't make it no more. So how am I gonna do it? Oh yeah, I agree. I mean, it could be their version of get on the bus. <laughs> you know, it's like you're talking it's, about the it's, it's so soon. <laughs> Overdone. Right. Thank you so much for the super chat. He says PlayStation can't support both consoles and handheld games at the same time, and Sony doesn't want to piss off third party to support a supposed Vita two. I will just say this: to Sony properly support Vita two. They would have to create a shitload of studios specifically designed to support Vita because you need exclusives. We cannot go preach for five years or whatever that to sell platforms, you need exclusives, but then we're going to give Vita to a pass on, oh, it's okay, it got multi -plats. It needs exclusives. Yep. That's the, that's the only way Vita is going to be successful. It needs compelling exclusives that make people go, I got to get me a Vita. Listen, and it, it, it just simply can't be Call of yeah. Duty on a bus. Exclusives, to tell you the truth, that's Sony's biggest one up in, in gaming right now is their exclusives and their exclusivity. If you were to make a handheld, you would have to take your developers and put them on the mobile platform. How in the hell are you going to split them between the, the, you know, creating exclusives for the Vita and creating exclusives for the, uh, for the PS5 or whatever. Well, yeah. wait, Kratos, wait, Kratos, let me say this. So now what you said makes a lot of sense, right? Because now I'm thinking like if they got to balance out <laughs> PS5 exclusives, right? Yeah. Developers there. Yeah. Funneling developers in the VR department. Yeah. Funneling developers for a mobile device. 
Yep. That you don't think that would kind of wear them thin a little bit with quality? Yes, of course. Right. And, and then the first the first time we get <coughs> washed out second ra- second rate mobile games on it, we're gonna we're gonna get mad and nobody's gonna support it. Yeah, or they, though, if, if you're wearing, it's, if, a, if it's you're, a, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, no, Ode. Oh, no, okay. So if they're wearing their stuff thin, one of those three branches are gonna get the the the, yeah. the, the rotten fruit. It's gonna right? be the yeah. fucking console. The console so. always. Pays the price. No, I disagree. I think the lesser form would be the mobile device, the Vita 2, would get the once Vita again the lukewarm, the lukewarm exclusives again, and which will bring no revenue. Yeah. That's what I think. I, I would rather for them to take that revenue and put it into more studios, more games, and giving us right. what we got this generation. Here's I don't want that to stop at all. You it, know, right. yes. At even, all, I don't. I don't want them to risk that at all. Keep giving me what you gave me this generation. Yeah, even even let's say somehow Sony was to provide mm-hmm. top quality exclusives for PlayStation Five, Vita Two, and PSVR. All that means is each individual device is going to get less quality exclusive because if let's say Naughty Dog is making a quality exclusive of PlayStation Five, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The next time they make another quality PlayStation 5 exclusive won't be for a long time because now they're taking their time making a quality exclusive for the Vita 2. Yep. So we're going to get less quality exclusives few and far between because they're taking mm-hmm. their time on each platform. So we'll yeah, get less yeah. games. Mm-hmm. Sure, they're quality, but they're less in frequency. Yeah, it's okay. a lose lose propagation for this. Yeah. Right, we want we want the truth is what gamers want out of play Sony and PlayStation is the goddamn console. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's, P- PlayStation quality Play- console. I mean, just based on what specs the sales I, I show it. it. So, PlayStation yeah. is a mature platform for you know mostly adults. Uh, you know, I, I guess I can say that. Whereas Nintendo has a, a lot of the, 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 the kids at heart. Um, I, j- I just don't see there being a lot of adults wanting to play mobile again. They've had two shots at this stuff. I mean, it's third time to charm. I mean, are, are they going to really do that? I, I don't know. You know, it's going to be interesting yeah. to see what they do. Um, shout out to Harry Heck. He said, thank you so much for the super chat. He says, what if Sony implants Vita 2? Into their Sony smartphones and implant Sony smartphone compatible Bluetooth into DualShock Five. That's how I would do it. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, I if that, that, but, wait, but wait, the thing wait, is, wait. again, the games though. Where are the games going to come from? So he's saying you would use your phone. They would have the app. It'd be application on your phone, right? So, so Vita is an application, not so much. Uh, so me, okay, but that's device. already remote play. That's already stuff that we got now with the Vita and and the TV and the PS Now and all that stuff. That's, I mean, it's kind of... I'm going to be honest, man. I think, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest. I'm never going to use an app. app No one gives a fuck about this stuff. We just want a goddamn console with compelling games. That's it, bro. That's dummy. I'll be honest. Sometimes I think we overthinking this shit. Just let me go to Best Buy, buy a fucking box. I plug the (laughs) box on my TV, and that motherfucker got games. For the rock. That's it, bro. That's all it needs to do. Hold on, I've, I've it, said it a hundred times. But you know what they tell me? They God, tell me, oh, they, they say you're just a dinosaur. The industry is going this way. You're just going to be left behind. Like, like, but let's be like, how what? Like, bro, I'm not on the bus. I don't ride the bus that often. Like, but <laughs> I'm in my gaming. I got a man cave specifically designed to play games. Yep. Mm-hmm. Most of a lot of us do that. A lot of people tend to do that. A lot of people buy a second TV because of console gaming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That way they don't get kicked off from the primary TV in the house. Wow. People buy a lot of people own a second TV because of gaming consoles because they yeah. want a dedicated TV to where they always has access to their games. Yep. So how is this shit now archaic blockbuster now? Yeah. Overnight, like this shit's ridiculous, bro. Like, and the craziest is some of the PlayStation fans doing this. Like, why are we reacting to Microsoft? They are the loser of this gen. You do not listen to the Cleveland Browns. 
<laughs> that's not it. <laughs> that ain't it. I think they're taking. I don't think they're, they're reacting. I think they're just taking. Uh, they have a device that that uh, that may or may not have some use on the next console. That's it. That's the way I look at it. I, well, I, I don't think. Hey, it I want to it, it better come in the box. It better I want to. I want to say this. Box. So to the user UA, he tagged me. Says this isn't for you. This is just an option for people without a console. You can still buy a console and get your experience. UA, that's not what I'm saying. People are telling me that consoles is the dinosaur. That this is the beginning of the end. Yep. Sure. Who next gen, you're gonna have a Scarlet, a PS5, and streaming. But eventually. PS5s and Scarlet are done. Streaming is the is the new wave. This is how we need gaming because apparently consoles, you're stuck at home. Yep. As if that's always been a problem. I don't mm -hmm. get that. Since when well, has gaming at home been an issue? Who is saying that because the Google and everybody's seeing this shit? Well, who's everybody? Oh, one doc. Oh, um, was it Doc Cupcake? Yeah, doc. he literally said. That Microsoft finally found a way for you not to be stuck. That is the word well, he used. Oh. Xbox got in. Are Who you fucking kidding me? Stuck. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. Since when has been as when has has since since when has listening to the Cleveland Browns been the new wave in the NFL? Yeah. Well, well I don't, I don't get that. that. That's what I'm saying. I just think, look, they're trying to find a way to stay relevant. That's the way they stay relevant, like uh, J Dub said. You know, hey, look, this puts them at the oh. forefront instead of being in third or fourth place. At one point, didn't the 3DO or 3DS outsell the Xbox? They well, were in fourth, they were in a sucking place. Yeah, they were in a sucking place. Look so. at this. We had PS now for how long? Uh, Two years, three four, years? Four years. Yeah, Longer than PSVR, right? Yeah. We yeah. also have PSVR, right? Correct. At no point did any of us at no point did J Dub say that these things are going to take over the gaming industry. Exactly. Well, J -Dub we never J -Dub said Nats that. Is, no J -Dub one says that. Nats in his brain work <laughs> like they're supposed to. These guys don't, man. <laughs> no I mean, PlayStation guy is saying VR is the future, consoles is dead. No PlayStation yeah, I, guy is I, saying PS Now is the future. PlayStation console home gaming is dead. This is the way gaming needs to be. No one said we just saw this as enhancements to the console. Yeah. It's something that makes it's just something that makes the console better. VR makes PlayStation 4 console better. PS Now makes the console platform better. It's just things just to improve the console experience. But for Xbox, <laughs> it ain't about the console no more. That that's just old. And now and 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 not only is is as if they're willing to sacrifice their own There's Xbox console yep. and burn everything. It's like I said before, Xbox gamers at this point rather okay. rule hell than serve in heaven. They rather see gaming burn, but as long as Microsoft is at the top of the pillar, let gaming burn. Let everything be destroyed. As long as they what? could say Microsoft is number one, that's yeah. all that matters. Gaming because it makes them relevant. Yeah, I agree with that. That makes no <laughs> goddamn sense. Gaming could well, go to hell in a handbasket. Is Microsoft number one? Yes, cool. They will see the Xbox, the actual console, be completely destroyed and irrelevant. But if that means, if that sacrifice means that Microsoft is number one, they're they'll go with that. Yeah, if yeah. Microsoft is number one through streaming, which means every console device completely got destroyed and just completely failed, they will go for that option. Just so they could say Microsoft is number one, which yeah. makes no goddamn sense to me. Well, but think about it. All right, think about what 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 they're saying. Again, the the whole thing with Google doing streaming. Okay, Google is a direct threat. It's a direct competitor to Microsoft because they make the same shit. I mean, they both make tablets. I mean, they both make phones. I don't know. Maybe the Windows Phone is gone. They both have software that run on different applications you know they both have uh you know uh, apps so that's a direct threat whereas it to sony a digital foundry said in 2016 sony is going to follow the traditional gaming uh console market the way we've been having and that's and they've confirmed that that yeah. they don't you know they've confirmed that so that we're two years later uh digital foundry with Eurogamer, they were correct 
So that's that's what Sony's going to do. It's Microsoft that is trying to find out different ways to create new revenue. Not, I mean, it's not that you know. Every time, Mike, I agree with you. Microsoft that does does name change. They're like, well, Sony's got to do it because it's a way to stay relevant. It's a way to stay relevant. It's, it's there. J Dub put a J Dub's got a brand new grill at his place. Therefore, you, you got to go get one because you got to keep up. You know, it's a way to stay relevant. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't feel relevant because he got a new grill and my grill is you know ten years old or whatever. So <laughs> that's, you know, that's just that's just the way it is. So yeah, when I hear you say an Xbox guy said this, that's already you already dealing with somebody who doesn't have correct blood flow from one part of their body to the other. So. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Chat Main Twenty Two. Thank you for the super chat. He said, "Hardware costs money. Apps would be cost be cost efficient." I agree in a general sense that if you can sell games without making hardware, okay, yes, that does that is the business strategy. Here's the thing, though. All right, as I said before earlier in the show, there's kind of this incentive. That if you sell hardware, your first party developers has to have this certain intensity and not just making a great game that will sell on its own, but a great game that can convince people to sell a $400, $500 device. You understand? If you're not worried about selling hardware and all you are is worried about selling $60 games, that intensity might not be there. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain thing. There's a certain there's a certain stipulation that a publisher like like look at fucking Activision, right? They had the Spider-Man license for a while, right? Yep. I guarantee if Activision owned their own console, they would have been producing some of the best Spider-Man games you would have ever seen. Fact. Yeah. But they had no incentive to make Spider-Man a special IP because it was gonna be on anything anyway. All they needed to do was just make money off the brand name, and that's pretty much it. Sony, on the other hand, when they took the IP, they purposely want this game to be a force behind selling PlayStation consoles. I mean, just the fact that they created the spe- Pro and Slim Special Edition tells you we want this game to sell consoles. There's a special umph behind making games that has to sell consoles, you know, that you just don't get when you just... A game developer, you know, like Square Enix, Square Enix, Activision, EA, like look at EA, look at Madden. None of the Maddens are made with that special, man, this game got to sell consoles. Yep. They don't make it like that. It's going to, they may, they make it on any platform. It just needs to sell, you know, yeah. when you have to sell a console because you realize if you don't sell this console, we are all fucked. You got to have that special um, you got to have that special detail. You got to have that special quality behind it, you know? Like Nintendo. Nintendo consistently with Zelda, Mario, they consistently push out top quality games cuz they have to. It has to sell their devices cuz if these games don't sell the devices, they are screwed. Yeah. They yeah. got nothing else to rely on. It if we go under hardware you go under exactly. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's that it's that it's that oomph that these mm-hmm. things done. You understand what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I don't know, man. That's just me. But you know, we've been here while a good minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's time to get back to gaming. You know, so we're gonna give our parting shots. Start out with all day. Hey, man. It feels good to be back. Nah, it's all good. Shout out to the chat. Thanks for tuning in on this Saturday, man. I'm about to head up back to this uh, Black Ops and uh, yeah, let's sync up, let's party up. Yeah, let, let's get it in. Uh, you know, you guys enjoy your weekend, bro. All right, Craig, top flight security of the world, Craig. Yeah, yeah appreciate you having me on again. Thanks for the vine, man. Thank you for the vine. Yeah, always having a great time with the Oracle. Uh, all day, and <laughs> up city, the, the 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 most toxic man on Twitter. Uh, except, of course, the people on Twitter, I'm, I'm about to knock him off. That's what this cat was saying to me earlier today. Uh, I'm going to become number one. So uh, that's, I got to win something. I mean, hellfire, I don't get to win nothing. But, um, but yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. Hit that like button. Big shout out to the chat. Had like 180 people watching, and uh, yeah, play the games. I'm on the Xbox Situated Spoon 26. 
hit me up, play with the Messiah, because the Xbox is just it's just sitting there, folks. I mean, help me out. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Help me. All right. And then, of course, my man, J-Dub City, rooting, man. Rooting, rooting for the Knack 2 of baseball, the Houston <laughs> Astros. <laughs> hey man, you leave my Astros alone. We, we, we don't mind being the knack too. We know we're gonna get a secret. And, and anyone, anyone, yeah, that's true. Anyone better, better to be knack than rise. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, um, it, you know, as usual, is always great, uh, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe. You guys can, uh, you know, obviously rock out with us on Twitter. Um, you can find me at JW City sixteen. I try to keep you guys laughing with the uh, the the gifts and the memes. So uh, yeah, man, it's great great to be back. Great to have the podcast again. Uh, the, man, the, the four horsemen. That's it, man. The four horsemen, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, for everybody in the chat, before you log out, please hit the like button. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe for more content. Hit that bell for notifications. This is your boy, Porter Rock 77, your only friend in these YouTube streets. Check out the description box. I'll make sure I'll add the links to the fellas here. And, of course, you'll see the link to my Twitter. Hit me up there so we can continue the conversation so you can see me blow the fuck up and trigger to all these PSP fanboys that want a fell platform. Hey man, I, I, fuck, fuck PSP. I'm out. Peace. Peace. <laughs>